Shark McCoy's out in front. Oh. McCoy goes down, Foster goes down, and Tony Campbell wins it. And in addition, I thought Maracho with a false start in lane one. But it was not called. I think Greg Foster has cramped up again. In the Milrose games a couple of weeks ago, we saw that he cramped, and I think it was that same left leg. He's moving, and he's in pain. And I don't think he's in pain from the fall. I think it's more that he cramped up and had to start stop running, and then he ran right into Tony Campbell. Or Mark McCoy, I'm sorry. Foster with that cramping problem at the TAC Championship a week ago. Okay, Mark, what happened? We just collided. You, he hit you. He seemed to run into problems with the hurdles first, right? I just felt him hit my back arm. And You're okay? You're down. Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, Greg's down the ground. Thanks. So the collision between Greg Foster and Mark McCoy. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, Larry, we can hear you. And okay, Greg has a cut on the back of his left thigh. It's quite pronounced. It's about six inches long, oh running up the back. He's taking the skin off. He's actually cut. As you can see, the, the cut is, extends up into his left buttocks. Mark McCoy. Here's another look. McCoy with the great start. It's, can I just ask him? Can I ask him? We're still clean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Foster. there was a collapse. Foster's leg just collapsed out from underneath, and then he goes down and probably right there cuts his leg on the edge of the hurdle. And Great did he reach happened. out with his Break left arm and hit McCoy? Is that when he stumbled, he reached out just like for a balance? We'll take a look at it from head on. Meanwhile, Tony Campbell out in front. He wins the gold medal. Greg Foster on the left. No one seemed to have any trouble, although Mark McCoy was out ahead, but he's over drifting over in his lane. Foster drifts over to him. It was, I think that was coincidence. They're running. Foster was actually out of his lane, then his leg collapsed, and then they ran into each other. Now let's go down to Larry again. Thank you, Charlie. Greg, you don't know what happened. You just hit a hurdle? I have no idea. Thank you. From the replay, he hits the second hurdle. That throws him off balance. He gets too far to his left into the lane of uh, Mark McCoy. Never never came back, and uh, I don't know if he picked up a cramp along the way also, or he was just stumbling, reached out for balance, and, uh, and then the collision, and, uh, and Jackson finishes four. And that is the story of the men's 60-meter hurdles.